at 5 past 5 p.m. That's the middle of February, and I'm about to head off on a small, skinny water Murray cod fishing adventure. Hey, you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Well, now, before I start fishing, I've got to look and see what lures I've got to choose from from this month's Tackle Club box, and I'm going to rip through this at record speed. This is the February Murray Cod Tackle Club box. We have a Damiki lipless crankbait. We have a One Well Lunch. We have a Fishcraft swim bait. And a Sixth Sense Mag Dog 130. And a Sixth Sense spinner bait, one ounce spinner bait with willow blades and there's a tackle club sticker at the bottom. So we've got five different types of lures. We've got a spinner bait, a surface lure, a swim bait, a lipless crank bait and a diving lure or some of them call them a crank bait. Five different types of lures to choose from. I'm not even going to go through the breakdown. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get that to show there or if not I'll take a photo of it in a minute and overlay it. But basically Total cost is 100 and it's worth $109 and it's going to cost you $70, $70. Now that's the February box. Every box, every month is different. It's like a lucky dip. And if you use my discount code Robbie10 at the checkout, you'll save 10%. Robbie10 for once off purchases or Robbie10S for subscriptions. That's enough talking about Tackle Club. I'll put all the information in the video description below. Let's choose a lure and go fishing. Now this sixth cent spinner bait has willow blades. Willow blades are better in current, whereas Colorado blades got him. Colorado blades, oh he got no still there, I thought he got off then. Colorado blades are better in calmer water. Willow blades are better in the current, like this. Oh, on the board. Look at that. It's a lovely trout cod. Gee, you hit that hard. A lovely trout cod of a round. I'm going to say 43, 44 centimetres on the sixth sense spinnerbait. Beauty. Right while I was in the middle of explaining to you the advantage of uh, willow blades in faster water. I'll get my pliers and I'll unhook it with as minimal fuss as possible. One of the good things about spinnerbaits is there's only one hook, so they're normally quite easy to unhook. There he goes, just like that. He has gone. Ah, beauty, I'm already on the board. I had a quick look at the barometer before I came out and it's only 1,010. They say 1,020 cotter plenty. But anyway, hopefully 1,010 is good as well. Well, I couldn't possibly have asked for a better start. Like, I've literally, I just started fishing on the other side of these trees here. I've literally been fishing for 10 metres. You know what? I'm going to change lures already. I'm going to see if I can catch a fish on every lure in the Tackle Club box. Now that's a pretty big call. Can I do it? I'll take the spinnerbait off and I might go, I might go the lunch. I'll go the one well lunch and give that a crack. We know that these lunch lures work because I've caught them on, uh, I've caught cod on these on my channel before. Although they're probably gonna dive quite deep for this small waterway. Wow, this is the first time I've been here since the floods before Christmas. There used to be a sandbar that went right around there. It's it's gone. Let's get rid of this spider web. That's gone too. The floods have made a uh, a lot of changes. I used to walk out towards the end of that branch there to fish. Oh, something followed that out, look. Mm. See the boil? I felt a tap just as I lifted that out. I wonder if that fish might have been sitting against this bank. They got him. Oh, so close. Didn't feel any weight, it was just a tap. I'll just bring it through nice and slowly. I know he's there. You hit it twice. Where'd it go? 
Well, I've got to catch a fish on this lure so I can change lures. Well, they're seeing it and they go, oh, he tapped it. It was a really gentle tap, he's still interested. Got him! Oh, look at that! I was, I was, it's a yellow belly! And it's a lovely yellow belly! I was just sort of figure eighting that around the water that I wasn't even reeling it in. It's a lovely yellow belly, he's come out and hit the lunch. That is a ripper of a yellow belly. Where can I get a photo of it? It used to be easy here, I could just stand there in the sand and wet my hands but I'm, and make a nice damp spot for it to, uh, I know what I'll do. I will get my camera ready. I didn't get a photo of the trout cob, but this is a beautiful fish, this is. I'll wet my hand now. And what I'll do, I'll just hold him up. I'll get a photo of it in my hand. Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. That was a memorable strike, that was. There he goes, he gone. Yellow belly, see you later mate. I was just figure eighting the lure around the surface because I knew it had a couple of touches, so I was just sort of dragging it round and round. Then he went whack and he grabbed it. Awesome, that was so cool. Well, that's two down. What do I want next, the lipless crankbait or the swim bait? Oh, the swim bait mightn't get down deep enough in here. I'll go the swim bait. I'll give the swim bait a crack for a while. Give the swim bait a crack, then I'll go the lipless crankbait and then the surface lure. Well, two down, three to go. The fish craft glide 127. These are $18. These are a bit cheaper than a lot of other swim baits. Is it a swim bait or a glide bait? I honestly don't know the difference. Oh look at that. When you just reel it in straight, it just looks pretty ordinary. It swims around a bit, but it's not great. Swims and flickers, but when you twitch it like that, it comes to life. It doesn't dive. So it's only be a shallow water lure, this one. Uh oh. Oh, good, it's off. Just about to say, maybe not that close to the edge. <laughs> oh, what the hell is a huge big boil there? Did something swirl behind my lure? Got him! Oh! Yeah, that was a hard strike. I doubt whether that'll be back. That was a decent fish. Mm. As Holly says, we, oh, got him! I was just about to say, where are the fishies at? That's what. That's what I. Hold, what's a lovely Murray cod. That's quite a decent fish. I was just about to say, as Holly says, where are the fishies at? And then bang, along come a... That's a... Uh, looks like to be a high 50s cod. I'm actually balancing on a tree uh, just under the water here. <laughs> I'm going to fall over here in a second. I mean, that is a lovely one hook is all he's got, so he could come off. That is a lovely Murray Cod on that little swim bait. Oh no, not as big as I thought. I reckon around about 50. High 40s, low 50s. Not as big as I thought, very fat. Probably got a belly full of baby carp. Beautiful fish. See you later mate. He gone, and he's gone in a hurry. Beauty. Righto, that's three from three. I really enjoyed using this little swim craft glide bait. I think it's a, 
I'm not, I'm not ashamed to say that I don't know whether that's a glide bait or a swim bait. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Either way, it doesn't swim very deep. And I think it'll be really handy just working along the edges where the fish often sit, just waiting for food to fall in the water. All right, now, I've only got one more subsurface, and that's the, uh, the Domeki Tremor 65. Right, oh, three from three, three fish from three lures, and three different species, a trout, cotton murray, cotton yellow belly. Now this is a lipless crankbait, it's got no bib, a bibless crankbait, a lipless crankbait. Oh, look at that, he went bang! Oh, that's a nice fish. That's bigger than the other one. Although I did overestimate the size of the other one. Now this is, yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, this is a high 50s. I said the other one was a high 50s. And I reckon once I got it out of the water, I downsized it. <laughs> Downgraded it. But now this is a good fish. I'm going to get a photo of this one. Yes, that's a mid to high 50s fish any day. Beautiful cod. Awesome. What a ripper. Go on. I've only got one more lure to catch a fish on and that's that surface lure but it's a little bit too early so I'm actually really enjoying using this and when that fish hit us then I was speechless and felt like it bloody pulled the rod out of my hand so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave this lipless crankbait on a little Domeki Tremor I'm enjoying using this Got him! Oh, done him! Do you get to see a boil? Nope. It was down fairly deep. I've been looking forward to tying this on all afternoon because it's just a weird looking lure. It, uh, it doesn't have... It's got a rattle, but it doesn't have any kind of bib. I don't know how to work it. You know, what is, I guess I just twitch it and make it dance around a bit and bring it to life. Sixth sense mag dog 130. Let's give it a crack. And that is quite heavy. I'll do my casting break up a bit. That's a crazy looking lure. I did see bone fishing catch a really big cod on a lure similar to this a few years ago. Oh, so you just you twitch it. Then when you, when you pause it, the arse end sinks in the water. Awesome. Well folks, I've just lost that surface lure on a snag and because I'm here on my own, I'm not going to risk swimming out after it. There will be links to everything used and everything about Tackle Club in the video description below. I didn't quite get five fish from five different lures, but I did get fish on four of them. And I've had an awesome afternoon. What a fantastic fishing session this has been. Thank you all very much for watching.